Hey, what's up, people? Robodex is back with a, another video. Today, we're just going to do a little wrap up of the Call of Duty Championship that happened this weekend in LA. So, let's get right into it. Friday night, the event started and it went pretty well. It was, I think, a different type of designed way to play and brackets how they worked it, um, which was pretty new. Um, but it made it sort of the first day. If you won, you had a place, you had a, a, a change to place in the upper or lower bracket um, immediately if you won or if you lost. And um, I didn't know exactly how it went, but uh, it went pretty good for all the teams. Um, but what I'm gonna talk really about is the most important teams um, that really jump out and showed us what they were like and how they played and how well they played. So, um, my had three favorite teams going to the event. Um, the first one was Complexity, the second one was Optic Gaming, and the third one was Envy. Um, luckily, like I am, my three team um, got top three each one of them. So, Complexity won um, the Call of Duty Championship, MVS had third, second, and Optic Gaming had third. So, um, I want to congrats Complexity for winning COD Champs. They played really, really well. They haven't lost a match. They went. Um, they were they were in the upper bracket the all time all the time, and they really played well. They haven't lost a game of domination, which is amazing. Not even losing one game of domination. They went pretty good in blitz. Um, they must have lost, uh, I think, like two or three maps of blitzes, and in search and destroy, um, it was their most difficult map. But uh, I think. They are going to work on that and be a better team in Search and Destroy in the next event. Uh, NVS, they were pretty good. Um, surprisingly, they won a lot of maps in the fifth map. So they went a lot of winning 3-2 maps. Um, they were really nail biters. Um, we haven't, we, we didn't know exactly if um, NV would have won a lot of maps or anything like that. They went in the tournament really prepared with the um, NVTCM LAN. So, I guess it's normal for them to have been second. And I hope they are happy and I am happy for them. Um, but all of their games they had, they all went in a 3-2. They always won 3-2 in map count. So, <laughs> it was pretty exciting. Um, and really, I was really nervous whenever I was watching their games because I wanted them to win. Um... But they won, and they got second, so I guess they're really happy. Uh, it's pretty good having second. Um, Complexity really played well in the final, so um, it was pretty fun overall. And Optic Gaming Excellent placed job, third at the event, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, it was really surprising. Uh, most of the people thought that Optic Gaming wouldn't even place like under fifth or over because most of the people say they were unprepared they haven't put a lot of practice in and people just said they weren't ready but um i think having a strictly business coming out of the house and play a lot of land helped them really much um as you know they won against uh, strictly business 3-2 it was this was a crazy crazy match um the, all of the five matches were crazy and um that's pretty much it um, they 3 0 TK just before the strictly business math. Um, it was amazing. They played straight. They really played well. Um, against Envy, they have a little bit of difficulties because they were in advance 1 0, I think. And they got like. But they, NVS came back and won the, the series 3 to 1. Um, they have a little bit of difficulties on clutching, finishing some plays that they played. Um, so I think the only last thing they need to practice is finishing a map strong. Um, they started real strong in every map, but they have difficulties finishing. So that's pretty much it for Optic. Um, the team that surprised me the most, um, I would say was Optic, uh, because everyone thought they wouldn't have been uh, going to be a good team in the champs. But uh, they, they showed us what they were, um, what they were and what they could bring to the table. Um, the second team that surprised me really a lot was um, T1 Trident, T Trident T1 Daughters, which is an Australian team, and they played really well. 
Um, they destroyed Rai's Nation. Um, the third round of the finals, I think. Um, they they really went well. Um, they lost it to Envy, I think. What is it, Envy or I don't really remember. But um, they really played well. Well, sorry guys. Um, they played fourth. They placed fourth, and um, which is pretty cool. Uh, for an Australian team, we see uh, rarely some top uh, other team than North Americans. So uh, they play really well. Um, the other team that surprised me was Vex Gaming, which is a Canadian team. Um, that was pretty cool because I'm Canadian, so I was happy for them. Um, they played well. And also, I think uh, the other team um, that surprised me a lot was Epsilon. Um, they came out really strong in the tournament in the beginning. Uh, but in the end, they were a little bit less stronger than the North American team. They had difficulties winning their respawn games. But um, that's pretty much it for all the team. So, uh, in overall, the tournament was pretty awesome. Pretty exciting to watch on the TV with the new application from MLG. And I think it was really a good tournament. Um, again, Complexity won. So, they won like 9 of the 11 past championships. Which is pretty amazing. And um, that's pretty much it for the Call of Duty Championship wrap-up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if so, leave a like. If you want some ideas about competitive gaming or anything about competitive gaming, leave me a comment and subscribe for more videos. Robot Ice out. Peace.